Hey there everyone, this is Rick and I'm back up here in Youngstown uh, working on the Todd engine. So uh, we're still uh, working with shrink links and uh, I'm going to show you this is what the links look like for the flywheel for the Todd. It's a lot different than the, uh, the oval links for the bed plate for the uh, 48 mil engine. Um, this is what are some colloquially called uh, dog bones and uh, there's two on each uh, side of the flywheel there where the, uh, where the rims come together. So um, the way that uh, Todd did things, as you can see these dimensions, 25, 13, 30 seconds, 5 sixteenths, so they all correspond with a measurement taken of the, uh, the opening on the flywheels. So I'll show you that opening right now. All right, so you can see this is what the uh, the opening looked like, and they had it. What is that? Two. I think that's two and nine thirty seconds, or five, twenty-five and nine thirty seconds. So that would correspond to one of the uh, shrink links, which was the same size. Now, if we go down here and we look at the drawing. It says right here, length given for wheel, make link sixteenth of an inch shorter. So, um, I just ordered a new set of, uh, um, oh, what the heck you call those things? <laughs> calipers. Calipers, that's it. Uh, that'll be showing up tomorrow. Once I get here, then I can take some measurements of the wheel and then of the shrink links and then verify all of this stuff before we start heating things up. Uh, but this here, you know, gives you all this information that you need to know. And this was the one, of, one of the 90 drawings that we have of the Todd engine. This is just a copy of it that I uh, stuck to the flywheel here a while back for uh, ready reference. So what we're going to do on Saturday is uh, bring the links in, uh, heat them up one at a time, and uh, you see I've got uh, chain falls. I got a chain fall on this side, I got a chain fall on the other side. So I made up a, uh, a hanger and it will lift the uh, link up in place and then heat it up right here. And then once it expands enough where it'll slide in there, then we'll push it the rest of the way in. And uh, here I'll show you what I made up yesterday. So I've got this hanger that I made out of uh, some bar stock and some angle and it basically like, goes right there and uh, so we can then pick it up and pick it up straight uh, you know normally you'd pick it up with an eye bolt in the in these holes but then it it comes up crooked and I want it to be straight up and down so we can just push it right in okay so I'm here, still making preparations for the installation of the shrink link. So we have uh, propane, we have uh, torches, and I have the first link hanging on the new uh, hanger. So the one thing I wanted to do was just for peace of mind to verify that these links actually fit in these corresponding openings. And as I just mentioned a little bit ago, we need a link to be a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the opening it goes into. So, finally, after two days of waiting for UPS to deliver it, my 40 inch set of calipers have shown up. And so I took some measurements. So on that one I just showed you, the flywheel opening is 25.289. The uh, distance between the flats on the link is 25.225, which is 0.064, which is just about within a couple thousandths of a sixteenth of an inch. So, if you take that 25.225 and you heat it to 500 degrees, it expands to 0.317, which is beyond what we need. However, if we go to 600 degrees, it gives us a little bit more of uh, room to work with, gives us uh, 
uh, 11 over, so it's almost an eighth of an inch larger. And so that all works out. I know that that length is for that opening. Now I'm gonna go and do the same thing on the other three and verify that uh, we'll have that 16th of an inch that we need and that everything's in the proper location. Okay, so that's basically how we did it. We just um, heated the link up, lifted it up with chain fall, and slid it in place. Now that one went rather easily. Um, a couple of the others were a little, little bit harder, it, mostly because we didn't have any good place to stand and, and to uh, um, you know hammer on it to get it to slide in. But uh, using the uh, port of power, uh, we're able to uh, you know push it the rest of the way, push each, push each one the rest of the way in, and then hold it while it cooled down. So, so this is what it looks like with with them done, and then that link will be there forever. Um, and so that part of the project is done and over with, and was a success. And oh, well, we probably went through about uh, you know 50, 60 pounds of propane <laughs> eating them up, but. Uh, it's uh it's done it was well worth it now you can see the other side here it's in there the joint is pulled together nicely so uh so that's basically it for the uh for the shrink links i spent today here um getting this uh shiv cleaned up and put back on it was all pretty greasy and uh, originally it planned on taking it completely off but um instead i just I just took it and just kind of spun it around as I cleaned it up and then primed it and stuck it back in place. So uh, that's the drive for the um, uh, the emergency stop. There is a, uh, a little fly, it like, looks like a fly ball governor, but basically it's just, uh, it's a fly ball uh, electric switch that if the engine overspeeds, it opens a set of contacts, which then dising, um, disengages uh, a circuit or uh, opens up a circuit that's holding an electromagnet which is holding a weight and then the weight drops and then trips the uh, emergency stop valve and that shuts the steam off to the engine so that's that's what this shiv here is for and there were a couple of i think uh, half inch diameter um, uh, le round leather belts that went out to the uh, to that little, little contraption. So I've got all that stuff. I'll put new belts on here when the time comes and get that put back together. But I wanted to get that together and uh, just generally having a nice pleasant day here working on the uh, on the Todd engine. All right, everyone. So now you know a little bit more about shrink links. I'll talk with you all later.